Hello friends, I am recording a video after a very long time. Uh, we will start with more uh, such videos in the near future and I will be updating you on various technical topics, not only on GDNT but on other topics as well. Today what we are going to discuss is about datum establishment in GDNT. Many people, in spite of knowing what a datum is, they get confused about establishment of a datum. So in this video, we will discuss in detail about what is that establishment of datum and how to interpret it when you have datum references in a feature control frame. So to what we have here is three datums, primary datum as B, secondary datum as A and tertiary datum as C. So we call this as order of precedence. Order of precedence means whichever comes in this third compartment of a feature control frame that will take the top priority for taking the reference. It could be for manufacturing or it could be for inspection as well. So here B will become the first feature, datum feature, which will come in contact with the datum feature simulator first. A being in the fourth compartment will take the second priority. So this will be the second datum feature which will come in contact with the datum feature simulator. And the fifth compartment is having C which is a tertiary datum which means it is a third priority. So that would be the third datum feature which will come in contact with the datum feature simulator. So we'll take one example to understand this ABC, what I really mean. So here we have a drawing with three datum feature symbols, A, B, C. So in this, the bottom surface is taken as A, this backside surface is taken as B, and this side surface is taken as C datums. Three datums are there. And all these three datums are taken as a reference to make these two holes and in this feature control frame we have A, B, C. So here A becomes primary datum top priority, B becomes a secondary datum second priority, C becomes tertiary datum which is third priority. Now to make these two holes, first this bottom surface will come in contact with the datum feature simulator. Here the datum feature simulator will be a fixture because we have to make these holes. After making these holes, if you want to check the position, then it would become a gauge. Datum feature simulator will become a gauge. So here to make these holes, we use a fixture. So the bottom surface will come and rest on the datum feature simulator first because that is primary. B, this backside surface will come in contact as the second datum and C, this side surface will come in contact with the datum feature simulator that is fixture third. So these three surfaces after coming in contact with the datum feature simulator will, will create a datum reference frame. The intersection of these three planes is called a datum point and from that datum point only the tool will be moved. Now, so for example, if I want to make this hole from this surface, from this reference at a distance of 20 mm, from this surface at a distance of 50 mm, I move the tool and then make this hole. To make this hole from this reference at a distance of 20, from this surface reference at a distance of 10, I make this hole. So based on the datum only the tool will be moved from those datum references that is why this order of precedence is very very important to understand this order of precedence and to establish the datums we will take one example so this is the example in which uh, we have to identify three datums and then allocate three datums to make these holes. There are totally five holes, center hole of one size and the four holes of another size. So we have to identify datum, establish those datums to make these five holes. So this is the exercise that I usually give for my training participant and most of the time I get a common mistake from most of them. 
so what is the common mistake is what they do they take three datums they take this surface as primary datum a and they take two surfaces these two side surfaces as b and c then they give a b c a b c so when we give like this nothing wrong in giving it but the main purpose of creating the datum references establishing a datum references is to get the function out of it so here what we are telling to make this hole from this surface at a distance of 3.75 inches from this surface at a distance of 3 inches i will make this hole exactly at that center i cannot make so i am giving a tolerance within this tolerance zone of diameter 0 0.06 the center of this hole can be moving location wise there can be a error now for these four holes what we are doing we are taking the same datums as reference a b c now what will happen from this surface at some distance from this surface at some distance this hole is made like that for all the four holes i am taking this surface and this surface as a reference to move the tool and make the holes because of which what can happen these four holes can either move towards left or right or up or down within the tolerance that is given circular tolerance of diameter 0 point uh, diameter 0 0.01 and this hole can shift opposite direction because of which we may not be able to create a relationship between this hole and these four holes so if your application demands that you should create a relationship between this hole and these four holes then this method of giving the datum is not advisable so what we have to do we should not give the same datum in this place so what we have to do now i made this hole with reference to datum a b c so from this surface at certain distance from this surface at certain distance i made this hole after making this hole i have to take this hole as a datum so how do i take that hole as a datum i have to create a new datum fourth datum i draw it in a different color so that you will be able to understand it so i can take this as datum d now what is happening i am taking this center hole as a new datum reference now what i will do here for the four holes i will give a and d as the new datum now the moment i give a and d as the datum what is the meaning is to make these four holes i am taking this bottom surface as primary datum which means the part will rest on the fixture on this surface then have to locate the part on the fixture using this hole the moment i locate this hole what will happen the axis of this hole will become the datum reference for me from this hole at a distance of 1.75 inches in x direction and 2 inches in y direction we are going to make this hole like this to make all the four holes i am taking this as the origin reference from which i go in xy direction and then make these four holes now by doing this what will happen this hole being an axis these two vertical planes which are created by this axis can rotate which means that we may end up getting four holes like this the distance x and y coordinates would be maintained but the holes will be of different orientation so if you want to arrest that orientation if you don't want this rotation to take place then what you have to do you have to add one more datum tertiary datum 
either by taking C or B. Here it is our intention of taking the tertiary datum is to arrest the rotation. That means if I place this part onto a fixture, the fixture will have only a bottom surface to rest and the pin to locate. So this part can rotate on the fixture. I want to arrest that means I have to create a barrier either in this surface or in the surface so that the component will not rotate on the fixture. So to communicate that to the manufacturer, I have to either take this or this surface as a tertiary datum. So if I take D, B, then what will happen? This now the B is taken as a tertiary datum, which means this bottom surface will also be butting on the fixture with the fixture will not allow the component to rotate. In this condition, we are going to make these four holes. So when we make this, then we have established two different datum reference frames. One is to make this hole a datum reference frame taking bottom surface as primary datum, this as a secondary datum, this as tertiary datum. So the origin of measurement will be this point here. With that, I made this hole. After making this hole, I use another fixture where this surface will be resting. This hole will be located and either this surface, in this case we have taken B. So this surface will be butting against the fixture. And then I make these four holes so that the rotation of these four holes with reference to this can be avoided. Now what will happen if on the part, if the hole is shifted onto the right, then I am taking the reference of that axis. So these four holes will also move towards the right within the tolerance error. So we are creating a relationship between these four holes and this center hole by establishing a new datum D. So for this, the datum reference frame will be created by using A, D, B. So what will happen? A is the bottom surface. D is this axis with vertical plane and horizontal plane. B is this plane. So now the new datum reference frame will be a different plane from the previous case. So D will establish this plane and B will establish this and A would have established the bottom surface. So the origin of measurement is here, this point from where the measurement will start. So this is the importance of datum establishment and order of precedence. So in this case, I have taken C. In this case, I have taken C to avoid the rotation, which means this surface will be butting against the fixture to avoid the rotation of these four holes. Hope this video will clarify on how to establish datum and how the datum references are taken. Thank you.